We, we are, are Fallen Saints. Saints. And you can find us hanging out at the Ventura Rock Spot. Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura County, as well as those who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. original hard rock music a la 1980s and covers so lately there's been a resurgence of traditional hard rock and, and heavy metal and typically the type of music you would listen to in the 80s is, is becoming more common but that means that there's a, there's a, a demand for, for the kind of music that that Fallen Saints is playing so uh, you know we can fill that need So the video that you're currently watching is the recent Hollow Queen show, of which that was my first gig with the band. So I've only been with the band now just over a month. Uh, but that was definitely a, a theme uh, for Halloween. And it was a lot of fun to play with three other bands. As you can see in the video, those are not my actual eyebrows. <laughs> that was a costume. You can find Fallen Saints at fallensaintsband.com. That's our original website. And then also our Facebook page is where we do most of our corresponding on Facebook. Uh, Fallen Saints was evolved out of another band called Dirty Gringo. We started that band, gosh, probably six or seven years ago. And uh, people were kind of coming and going. Our original singer moved away. And um, we, found, uh, we found Courtney on Craigslist to replace the singer. And so she was, uh, she was a great addition to the band. Then we decided to add a guitar player, found Robert on Craigslist. He was a fantastic addition to the band. When Robert came in, he had all kinds of great ideas on original tunes. And so we went away from being just a cover band to an original hard rock band with his music and it's it's been a fun five or six years i don't even know how long we've been together now but um we've been tearing up ventura county and and hopefully we can continue to rock for years to come and of course the most uh, recent addition of our band is calvin uh on the end of the table here playing bass guitar our original bass player left uh at the beginning of 2019 uh because of other commitments and we're happy to have calvin on board so it's that's a complete fallen saints for you Okay, so people ask why we got the name Fallen Saints, and uh, actually goes back to when I was a kid. I was in Episcopalian Day School, uh, and apparently I did something wrong that seems normal to most kids. But anyway, I was told to go home, and uh, my dad, in his infinite wisdom, said that I was acting like a fallen saint. And so for some reason, that uh, stuck with me over the years, and I was trying to think of names for bands, and 
Uh, I came up with this kind of cool logo based on a couple different fonts, and I, I like the opposing, you know, fallen and then saints. One is like, oh, you did something wrong. The other is, oh, you did something good. So it's really about, uh, you know, just kind of rising up from the ashes. <laughs> To introduce the band, we are Fallen Saints, Calvin Muser on uh, bass guitar, Courtney Darrow, lead vocals, uh, Greg White over here also goes by Perry on the drums. My name is Robert McKinley, I play guitar and uh, do background vocals. So, so one of the things I think I can add to the band is that the way I play bass is I pick with my fingers uh, rather than using a pick. And I, I've always enjoyed to watch bass players who pick with their fingers over, over bass players who use a pick. So um, I, I think that adds a much better sound and a heaviness to the band. And I'm hoping that what I can add to the band is a little bit more of an edge, a little more heaviness. and. Um, playing with my fingers is one of the ways I'm going to get there. What I bring to the band is, uh, well, the female element for sure. Uh, I've always been the only chick in the band, so that's kind of no. cool. I just really enjoy it. Uh, and I like being out there talking to people, you know. Sometimes, you know, people might feel a little more at ease coming up to talk to a chick. I actually signed a guy's nipple at the Canning Club, which was really cool. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> How could I forget it? He's not washed it off either yet, I guarantee you. Yeah. Still there. It was like three years ago. <laughs> I signed an autograph. <laughs> so I just enjoy schmoozing with people. She's a really good singer too. Just want to throw that out there. Okay, what I add to the band, um, I do whatever I need to do, um, and I do everything that I can. Uh, I've been playing for a long time, and you know whether it's gear or um, you know writing songs or learning different songs or um, you know in the writing kind of stretching uh, what everybody's abilities are, and especially my own. Um, I do whatever I can, and that's kind of what I bring to the band. Uh, I love playing with these guys. What I add to the band is, again, more aggression. I play fairly aggressively. I'm usually getting in trouble for being too loud. You can ask my neighbors everywhere I've ever lived that I'm way too loud. Um, in my older years, I've actually been working to try and play quieter. 
I haven't succeeded yet, but I'm working on it. I hit stuff with sticks. Okay, uh, my rig and the guitars that I use. Um, I'm using mostly exclusive Charvel guitars uh, in Fallen Saints, I love them, they're great. The neck feels really good. But no matter who you are when you play, you always have to get a guitar that's comfortable and you have to get the one that's right for you and gets the sound you want. Uh, for my amplification, everything is Marshalls, Marshall heads, Marshall cabinets, and they've been modified uh, by Voodoo amps back in New York uh, by a guy named Trace. Uh, he did a great job with those. Um, I also use a rack of gear that's got a, uh, a rack mount crybaby. I've got an ISP decimator, which gets rid of all the noise. I can literally take my hands off the guitar and you won't hear a single buzz or noise out of them whatsoever. Um, then I use a TC Electronics G system for my controller, which does all the channel switching. Uh, it also uh, yeah, it takes care of all the, the special effects, the delays, the harmonizer, uh, pitch shifting, you know, chorus, everything like that. Uh, and then there's uh, also, a, 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 I forget what it's called, it's, I think it's made by Leahy, it's a, a Sunday amp buffer or guitar buffer that's in the back of the rack that uh, takes care of the signal. Uh, but really conscious about tone, uh, wanted to sound great. The rig that I prefer to use above all else is the two heads and two cabinets in a stereo mode. Uh, but most of the time playing a lot of the stages, there's just not enough room. So I'm using one 4x12 in the Marshall uh, 100 TSL, TSL 100. So for guitars and amps, that's it. <laughs> So in how I get my tone out of that rig, you know, the, the first thing is when I, when I go into it, I realize that if I'm playing a show where my amp is mic, the most important sound is the sound that's coming out six inches from the cabinet. So it has to be enough for me to hear on stage, but that's really where the microphone is going to pick up that sound is six inches away from the cabinet. Um, so I do spend a lot of time at home when I'm, you know, setting up and doing things, listening to my cabinet six inches away from it. Uh, not really good for my hearing, but that, that's what I do when I'm mic to make sure that I'm getting the tone. I try to get the low end so that it's thumpy, but not woofy. And so I want it concise, but I want to hear that percussive sound. Uh, it's actually interesting because a lot of bass players have complained over the years about my guitar sound has too much low end. Uh, as far as the mids, yeah, there's a lot of mids. I love mids. Uh, and the high end, just enough to cut, but not so much that it starts to sound fizzy or brittle. Uh, and oddly enough, that's why I had my amplifier modified uh, because the TSL 100 Marshall was a little fizzy on the top end. Uh, when I got it modified by this guy in New York, um, it, it made a dramatic difference in the sound of the, uh, the amp. I literally plugged the thing in and it was just like, you know, the thunder of the gods type sound. I just absolutely loved it. So uh, other than that, I use heavy picks. I play real hard and I use really high output pickups. I use Duncan Invaders. I use uh, Doug Aldrich signature pickups, which are great. I put those in a Les Paul recently. Uh, and that's it, you know, big pickups, the buffer, all that gear, and just being mindful of what it sounds like. Where do I see the band in the future, whether it's one year or five years? And um, I think we all love playing together, and I love playing with these guys. And uh, my expectation is we're going to keep working as hard as we can. We're going to keep recording new material, and we do have a uh, new CD that's going to come out uh, in the near time frame. 
Uh, we've got more songs that are happening, so I expect a third one to happen and hopefully a fourth, and we're just going to keep doing it. Um, we like playing all the small venues. We like playing all the big venues. So uh, we do a lot of parties, too. So, I mean, we just love playing so much that we want to get out there and do it. We hope to grow the audience. We hope to grow, you know, awareness of the band and social media platforms. Uh, and I expect us to still be banging it out, heavy and aggressive, in five years' time. Mm -hmm.